Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Wanda Lee. Thank you for joining me today. If you're returning, welcome back. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be using the Magnolia Table Cookbook to make a salad. I absolutely love Joanna Gaines, by the way. And the salad that I'm going to be making is a French salad. And it's called the Salade Niçoise. And it looks like this. This is a page that I am going to be using. For those of you who have this cookbook, it's the Magnolia Table uh, Volume 2, and the salad is on page 127. Now, I'm going to be using, for the most part, all the most of the same ingredients, but I'm going to tweak the salad slightly to my liking. I think the only thing that I change about this salad is that her salad has green beans and my salad has no green beans and i'm also going to add avocado because i just love avocado who doesn't love avocado to my salad all right so without further ado let's get into the video i'm going to start by showing you all the ingredients that i'm going to be adding to the salad all right so the ingredients you're going to need is romaine lettuce you can also do iceberg lettuce it's really your preference you can even do spring mix or spinach salmon we prefer the wild caught salmon and we love the skin but again you can do yours with tuna tilapia your type of fish you can even do the salmon that is skinless and in here there are three fillets i find that more than enough for two people baby potatoes i prefer the red skin because i notice when i boil them and i cut into them they stick together where the yellow baby potatoes they have a tendency to fall apart a little more eggs i have eight eggs here i'm going to boil them all doesn't mean i'm going to use them all but you can just add the amount of eggs uh, to your preference some nice ripe has avocados i have two here because i do like a lot of avocados capers medium pitted black olives lemon juice salt and pepper they go so well together they're bfs they're like me and my husband Oil and vinegar for when you make your salad dressing. Plain goat cheese crumbles. And last but not least, a beverage of your choice to keep yourself refreshed. And for me, I'm having white grape peach juice. So now I'm just going to get some water boiling. We're going to add some salt and we're going to add our baby red skin potatoes. The really good thing about this salad is that it's very filling. It's a very hearty salad, especially with the potatoes. And for those of you who are like me, who you love salad, but you know, sometimes it may not fill you up or you kind of have it as a side meal. This salad is really good to have as your main dish. Not going to use the whole bag because I am going to be slicing them in half. Maybe about half the bag. Now I'm just going to wash my salmon. I like to kind of clean them up a little bit with some uh, lemon lime juice and vinegar just to get rid of that fishy smell. Another really good thing about this salad is that there's minimal cooking. You're just boiling potatoes, boiling eggs, making the salmon, and everything else is just slicing and presentation. 
while my salmon sits in the lemon juice to get rid of that fishy smell and my baby potatoes are already boiling we're going to start getting the eggs ready to boil so i'm going to wait until the water comes to a boil first before i add my eggs because my husband taught me that when you do it that way when you peel the eggs they don't stick uh, to the shell it's easier for them to peel Something I like to do is use a fork or a knife. Oop, just fell in. And kind of just stab at the potatoes, see if you can pick one up. Right now, mine are a little bit too hard, so that's how I know that they're not ready yet. All right, so my potatoes are done. As you can see, the fork went right in and it almost split. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. And the potatoes my... are drained. I did remove them because I don't want them to overcook. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my romaine lettuce and prepare it to cut. I love this uh, spinner, by the way. I got this at Home Goods. This one's really good. Let's see, you just unlock it here. And it's really cool because all you have to do is put the salad inside the green bin. So I'm trying to show you guys. And then you press this button and it spins and it works really well and you can also you want to wash it good because sometimes if there's a little curl in here you will find like little insects uh, that are dead in there so I, I make sure that I kind of open up the lettuce to make sure I get all those little in, all those little hiding insects Okay, so I used about, move this out the way, I used about one and a half of the romaine lettuce and I'm going to give you guys a front seat to how this thing works because this is where the action is. All the action is right here. This is what you've all been waiting for. I'm just going to put it right on top and there we go. So here's my lettuce. Look how nice and fluffy that is. It's not soaking wet. And then here's the water. You can see it's even like a slight green color. Okay, so I forgot to put on my little mic. So I'm sorry if my voice was low in the previous uh, last few minutes. So we're gonna get a frying pan out. I put some olive oil. We're not gonna use a whole lot of uh, seasoning for the salmon because salmon is already naturally salty so you really don't want to overdo it and I have it on medium to high heat I'm just gonna add some more lemon juice Ooh, nice. got some pepper and some salt And I'm gonna head and go ahead and cover that so that it's not popping all over the place. It looks like our eggs are about done, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain them. Listen to that sizzle, you guys. I always place it on the skin first so that the skin could be fully cooked, nice and crispy. So I deshelled my eggs and my husband knows what he was talking about. They came out smoothly. This one was a nick from when I banged it to open up the shell. But look how smooth they all came out. Thank you, hubby. And the salmon is almost ready. I've kept it covered. The top is slowly cooking. I just lifted up the bottom to kind of take a look at the skin. 
not fully where I want it to be just yet. So I'm just gonna keep it in a tad bit longer. All right, so I flipped it over. I cut my two salmon fillets into four. That way I can display them nicely. You can see how crisp the skin is. And that's what I was looking for. I definitely wanna cook this one just a little, just a little bit more. I'm going to lay down the lettuce first and I'm going to do it in a circular kind of motion. I'm going to fill the edges. All right. Oh, and I apologize, you guys. My microphone broke. So I'm just going to try to speak as loud as I can. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plate the salmon. Let me get my tongs, actually. And I'm going to plate the salmon kind of going down the middle just because it just looks really pretty that way. It's not just about the taste, you guys. It's also about presentation. And a visual person like me, I love to cook and I love to also make it look like pretty. And it was done with love. Because love is one of the most important ingredients. And we have some little pieces there. All right, so now that we have the salmon, I'm gonna go ahead and slice the potatoes and put those on next. All right, I propped up the dish slightly so you guys can get a better view. And here I have my baby red skin potatoes. So I'm gonna kind of scatter them. Some I'm gonna place face down for the color and some I'm gonna place face up. And of course you just add however many uh, you like. So I have my potatoes. The next thing I'm gonna do is slice our eggs. And when you're slicing your eggs, try to slice them so that you can see the yellow in the center. Cause looks wise, it just looks a lot prettier on the plate. And of course, if you slice a piece and it looks like this, obviously we're not gonna get rid of it. We don't waste food in this house. So I'm gonna just place those, kind of scatter them around. So you can see kind of the color a little bit everywhere. And now that we're done with the eggs, we're gonna go ahead and add some sliced avocado. Love me some avocado, can never have enough for me. My husband is actually on his way. So he's gonna get here right on time to eat the salad with me. Of course, I wasn't gonna eat without him but he's gonna get here at perfect timing. Right. The olives are whole, but I'm, but I'm slicing them in half and placing them in that way. Again, I'm scattering them around for a nice visual effect, but also so that we can have a little bit of everything in every bite. This has become one of my favorite salads. Another one of my favorite salads is a Spanish style salad that I kind of invented myself. I will attach the link below if you have not seen that video. But this one is, I think, kind of beats that other salad just by a tad. I really love this salad. It's very hearty. Okay, we need a few more olives. And I'm kind of gonna just spread the capers around randomly. Goat cheese, please. I love me some goat cheese. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. And again, this is plain goat cheese, plain goat cheese crumbles. There's no extra flavor added onto these. 
going to crumble up the bigger pieces into smaller ones. And I'm going to use this whole entire container because my husband and I just love, we just, we love some goat cheese. And if you've never had goat cheese, um, it's, what can I compare it to? If you've had a cannoli, uh, which is that kind of, it's an Italian pastry and it has a cream inside that's made with goat cheese. Uh, goat cheese is tarty, but it is not as tarty as feta cheese. Feta cheese is really strong and has that really distinct, strong, tart flavor. Goat cheese is a lot softer. It kind of, it's creamy. It melts in your mouth that way. And oh my goodness, I just cannot get enough of it. All right. I think that looks good. Well, we, I always set it aside so that my husband and I can add more to our plate if we want. Last but not least, I'm going to make the salad dressing. And to make it a little more flavorful, I'm going to go ahead and add the oil from the pan that I cooked to the salmon in. You can make your own dressings. This recipe calls for adding Dijon mustard to it. So I'm sure that tastes delicious, but I actually forgot to pick some of that up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the simple olive oil with vinegar, some salt, some pepper, A little bit of lime juice and I'm cat I'm kind of just eyeballing it I'm gonna mix it up kind of just eyeballing it I am gonna taste it before I pour it on you can change it as you see fit again you can add Dijon mustard add any type of dressing that you like I really like it with the plain um, with the with the classic oil vinegar salt and pepper it's gonna give it a little taste too much vinegar, add some more olive oil. All right, and finally, finally it has happened to me. I am finally, final step, which you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, is to drizzle the dressing. Kind of just spread it around evenly. If you have kind of picky people in your house, obviously you don't have to drizzle the dressing all at once, but my husband and I, we love the same dressing. So I'm gonna drizzle it all over, get those salmon fillets nice and juicy, spread it around evenly. Look at that. This is beautiful. What a beautiful work of art that is. Mm -hmm. Our salad, Nassoise, is completed. Take a look at that, you guys. So delicious. Delicioso. Mm -hmm. And my husband should be here any minute. And then we're going to enjoy. This beautiful dish right here is going to be a hot mess in a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of our video. If you like these types of videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also set your notifications so you can know if I post a new video. That's all for today. Stay safe, stay blessed, and until next time, ciao.